So welcome to the weekly reset. We're going to be looking at weekly challenges plus Eververse and 801. So that way you guys are aware of what's up for the week. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. If I sound tired, it's probably because I am tired. I just got out of my, my 10 hour shift and really just want to go to sleep. But we're going to be doing this. So complete this or complete act two, part two of a rising chorus. This is literally the story. Research and development five. Complete the research quest for specimen Ness 005. I think I don't even think I've done the last one. Yeah, I haven't done four yet, so that'll be fun. We have uh, aggressive exploration three. Complete the episode Echoes Battleground playlist weekly challenge. Um, okay. Uh, minor swing. Activate assimilation pistons with the piston hammer. This one's not hard. Um, I'm probably gonna do this while I'm doing other stuff. Defeat Vex with Arc Damage and Gambit or Vanguard Ops activities. I'm probably going to do this in Vanguard. I don't want to do Gambit even though I really should because uh, I want to get Dredgen 10 I think it is. Arcing Sparks. Defeat Guardians with Arc Damage and Crucible. This is going to be trash. <sighs> I'm going to have to be using an Arc Weapon plus an Arc Super. Plus. So yeah, it's just going to be annoying. And then get Rapid Precision Final Blows. Bonus Progress is granted for Defeating Guardians and for every defeated target after the second one so that is pretty much it nothing too crazy here aside from probably this one this one's going to be annoying for some people unless they just do the vanguard ops which is what i'm going to be doing uh, i want to go check the challenges thing that they talked about do they have something here that does that or because i don't know what they mean by that is it like a nightfall the pale heart that's not what i wanted um Maybe, I don't know. But let's uh let's go to fucking eight of one, I guess. So eight of one, we're gonna be looking at shaders, gold leaf. Uh this is an old one. This is oh this is an old one, dude. This is from shit. What is this one? Um Season of Opulence? This is an old fucking season, bro. Like I was still living in LA with this one. Like even before that, so pretty good shader, I definitely would recommend it. We have New Pacific Rush Warn. And then Dead Orbit Present Resurrection, which is the, uh, oh, what's it called? Curse of Osiris Shader. So I definitely like this one a lot. As for the armor, they're all right here. Um, I'm going to be going through the collections because I don't remember all of them off the top of my head. But uh, we, oh, it's right there. So Hunters, I like the helmet. I don't like the arms. Chest piece is really cool. The boots, unfortunately, the white bandage at the bottom does not change color. And the cloak, I think, is pretty boring. Um... Titans, I think everything but the chest piece and the mark is definitely worth getting. Helmet is worth getting because it, it's the it's a reskin of another helmet that doesn't change color, which is why I think this one's the best one. And the arms and the boots I think are really really cool. Warlocks, I already know which one's yours. Uh, the helmet and the chest piece I think are the both pieces that are usually like the ones that you should get. The chest piece, or I mean the boots are cool. Um, they're just very generic. Uh, same, go th same thing goes for the arms, and the bond, I think, is pretty terrible. So let me know what you guys are going to be picking up from 8 to 1. As for Eververse, we have Neon Splash, one of the new shaders, which, yeah. Uh, Vibrant Medusa. And then a Heartbreaking Entrance. We have Desecrated Shell. This looks cool. And then glow stick dance. For the stuff at the bottom, we have objective reality for the truth, which I don't really care for. We have a uh, pressure stabilizer for the um, girl Falcon. The Azmuth runner for the. Damn, this looks pretty cool, actually. Kind of bitching, if I'm being honest. Yeah, this looks super dope. Archangel's Might. Yeah, this is the uh, the Seraph. Seraph? I think it's Seraph themed. Drifter. I don't know. Uh, Dramatic Countdown. And then Drone Flight. For the Transmats, we have Renewal Entrance. We have Vex Incursion Entrance. We have Ossified Entrance. And then Breezy Clear for the Shader. 
which this one is on. I thought this was a. Sp um, I could have sworn this was a, an event shader, but I guess I was wrong. We have w welded brass. This is a dope shader. Definitely recommend because it, it gives off a really good purple. The only annoyance is the fact that they're off color. Is this purple like light? purple which i'm not a big fan of almost like lilac i'm not a big fan of this color especially with plate armor but like when it comes to plate armor it looks amazing and the glows as well uh chitin slate this shader unfortunately got fucking neutered and i specifically mean the fact that it doesn't change or doesn't turn off glows anymore and then we have flavido core which is yellow and green so that is pretty much it for all of the stuff that we usually look at um let me go switch to titan and warlocks that way you guys are aware of what you guys are getting for your ornaments because i don't know off the top of my head because i haven't looked at the other classes that being said well let's talk about a few things real quick so i oh shit let's oh, fuck yeah i'm so happy chivalry's chill this is the one one of the ornaments that i've been wanting to get just because it is really cool I'm really happy about that let's go to the warlocks now i'm excited um yeah, so first and foremost, the Warlock, um, in, in, Insepid? Not Insepid, uh, Intrepid. The Warlock Intrepid armor video is coming out tomorrow, or, yeah, tomorrow, which means I might slow down a little bit. Uh, I can't, the I Ionic Fringe. No, 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 wait, hold on. Uh, let's, let's not do anything too crazy now, because I'm not a fan of this helmet, because it looks goofy, like absolutely goofy. I'm gonna get it just because I want to have all the ornaments, but I'm not happy about getting it. Let me, I want that on the record. So I will most likely be buying this armor someday. I don't know when I'm gonna get to it. If I can find this fucking armor. Wait a minute. Where is it? Oh, this one right here. So I'm thinking about getting the Omega Meccano sets for all of the classes because I don't have it. This is the only set that I don't have. Um, and then I might make a video on it just because I'm getting a new armor set might as well that being said uh, I literally will be buying this armor like after I make this video most likely because I've already got someone asking for the D&D armor set and If you guys didn't know the easiest way for you guys to get me to make a video for you is just to ask because then it makes It puts like a fire in me to make a video for that So definitely gonna get this literally like right after this video is done um yeah, yeah. So first and foremost, uh, after the Intrepid armor set for the Warlocks is done, then I'm going to be doing the seasonal armor because obviously I've already gotten the helmet, which means I have all of it, all of it already. That I'm, I'm going to make the review video plus the shader video, and I don't know if I'm going to make a review for the classes because if you guys don't know, we I usually make a video where I take the pieces from that set and then make individual sets from those pieces. I don't know if I'm going to do that for the Warlocks and Titans or Hunters, honestly, just because I'm not the biggest fan of this armor. And I'm going to be completely honest, this armor is not that great. Um, it looks cool. It's just the fact that um, when it comes to shadering, it's pretty terrible because obviously the, the like rainbow waves don't change color. Um, there's a really like hard purple that doesn't change color and on the armor itself. Which is pretty terrible because, for example, Lucid does not have purple at all. And yet you can see purple and for the glow as well. So I'm still debating whether or not I want to do that. Now, I was thinking about maybe just doing an armor set for each of the classes and making that into one video. But we'll see. I'll most likely do the review video plus the shader video and then move on to the D&D armor set because that one's going to be easier to make sets for. Um, but let me know. I would love to know your opinion about that like what would you like to see for this armor set because i'm leaning on just doing the review video and the shader video and that's it uh maybe a video explaining like what i would do with it like maybe some armor sets that i would combine with this which i think i've spoken about this in a previous video but the armor set that i would combine with that seasonal ornament would be most likely um the uh this armor set which is the uh what's it called uh <sighs> the vow of the disciple vow of the disciple armor set and the uh the ron armor set for sure as well and then uh, honestly this armor as well the salvations whatever that armor set would also be really good with it Dep uh depending on which pieces you get i think this one would be really good the helmet specifically um 
but this one is more on this side like the vow of the disciple set this one for sure though the ron set would definitely look pretty hard with it but yeah i could definitely make a video where i explain like which armor sets would go with go go, go well with each of the sets or i can just make like as many as i can so let me know what you guys think i appreciate y'all be safe i'll see you guys later